Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? I'm doing today fantastic because today I am doing really interesting measurement and this measurement is today that I measure that are these my Toyota's piston rings in tolerance and are they suitable to use still and I like to check that how much there is this burn out that how many small millimeter these uh, these uh, piston rings has been burn out away and and there is very interesting measurement measurement strategy and tactic and how we how we me, we measure these things and 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 now now I am planning to measure that that when we have those two piston rings what belongs in this uh, Toyota's piston and first is this this upper ring and second is the lower ring and and I like to check that uh, that what is this what is this uh, this piston ring rings tolerance and now I am planning to measure that what is this holes what is in here this holes this end cap when I install these piston rings in this cylinder and this is the normal array and this installation happens so that I little bit press that together and then I install this piston ring in this hole and this place is about one inches down on this surface and one inch is like something like two two centimeters and now I install that in here carefully and I now it is in there this piston and then I I move the piston ring in down something like one inch because there is this normal life in this piston ring where it moves and now there is this piston ring and then I take my other measurement that I do this measurement that this is enough to deep like two like two centimeters now it's okay now it's in there and now we can see that there is this small hole I zoom in there and this is this is now this target what I am planning to measure and it's just this this is the this small hole in there that I am planning to measure in here and and then then there is second interesting thing that that I like to measure those two rings because in this Toyota VVTI engine there is this first compression ring what is in here and then second compression ring and, and it suddenly in that engine this uh, gap is similar in this first compression ring and second also but in some some Toyota's engine there is difference that that this second ring cap can be bigger this hole but in this VVT engine what size is this 1.6 or 1.8 liter it is same now I am adjusting this back and then I take this about one, one inches down Okay, and then I check that these pistons are nicely in there and then we can also look at how the, those pistons are in there they are very nicely if you will look they are in there in right position 
and then then I am doing this this measurement thing. Okay, and this measurement happens so that that there we can see that there is one hole and one hole and and there is this hole what I am planning to measure and I am so I am now so lucky that I know that what is this gap must be and how we can measure that what is this actual gap there is I, I can say that two two ways first is that we need to purchase new piston rings and and when we install those in there then we can right away check that what is this gap in there and the second way is that we have some service manual books where is this text that how much this gap could be this minimum and maximum this whole size this is like min and max is this and in that Toyota motor there is this uh, standard gap is in very small it is something like 0. Point zero five is this this uh, gap and millimeter and it's really thin and for them, that kind of measurement we need special measure and and here is this measurement and this is uh, like many plates and this is not very expensive that kind of plate this system cost something like five US dollars and it works so that that when we look in here there are symbols and in that measurement because this is Japanese motor these are millimeters and this is like one millimeter thin and, and this is the thickness and here is this is the the most thickest plate and then there is the smallest is in here what is 0 0.10 0 millimeter and this is very thin it's like almost air it moves like in here when I a little bit wind and this moves but then this one millimeter this is so stable and when I make wind nothing happen and in that if we have brand new motor this this uh, this gap should be that 0 0.05 and now we need that that plate and this this measurement makes so that that we take first this the thinnest plate and we insert that plate in between this this gap in this way now it goes in there and then I can say right away that this is at least this gap 0 0.1 millimeter and then when I, I, I start to search more accurate numbers I need to find little bit bigger and this thicker plate and next one is in here when I look there is one there is 1.15 and 1.20 I tried this 1.20 that how this works and then I check that there is only one plate and what happened and it goes in also in here and I check that it goes also in here and at least this gap is 0 0.5 0 0.2 millimeter and then I have to think that this is not now brand new motor because there is this gap only 0 0.05 it is a little bit less than 0 0.1 millimeter and there is service limit rules that if this gap is more than 1 millimeter then we need to change this this uh, compression this, uh, this this piston ring if this is more than one millimeter and that's 
I start to check right away that is this so burn out piston that I take this one millimeter that I can guarantee that if this goes in this hole I, I have to purchase new rings but I am so so lucky that this pist that this plate don't go in either of these and then I think that I I can say that both of these piston rings are okay and I can use those and then I have to check this thing in all of my four piston pistons piston rings and there is totally one piston include two uh, compression ring and one oil ring that I need to do then this uh, four times three like twelve measurement things and then uh, and then I am so interesting. I, I like to know that what is this gap in now. And I take now a little bit, uh, little bit bigger. I have this 0 .0 0.2. Then I test that what is this uh, 0 0.3 plate. And I test that. Okay, and it goes in there. And also in here that it must be. Now this bigger than 0 0.3, I take then 0 0.4 millimeter and what happened that there's 0 0.4 and it goes in there okay and in here then 0 0.5 a bit, bit thicker. Okay, here's here's 0 0.5. There, let's go to check. Okay, and this is this is now even thick. This is it goes, and I need a little bit bigger. Is there 0 0.55? Let's take there is yes, there is 0. Point Five, five, and then be sure that this is clean because now these lengths are so small and, and this is quite thick. And in here, yet yeah, this is even more thicker. And I take 0 0.6. Okay, there's 0 0.6 here, and let's test. Okay, and this is. Now this this don't go in that hole, but in here, okay, and here it it just just goes a little bit, and then we'll look this little bit closer. That what it looks like. And there is that. Okay. And then when I insert that blade, where is this? 0 0.6 yes there we can see 0 0.6 is there and then when I insert that in, in that direction not in this way directly 90 degree and it goes li only a little bit and then I think that we need to look in also in here that what it looks looks in there can we look in there okay there is this and then I insert that in here and as you can see it goes only a little bit and now now we can say that that we have this this amount that what is this gap and this gap was it was this zero point six millimeter, and that means that there is this faulty amount in this gap was this one millimeter, and that means that that we can use these piston rings so long that this gap is this one millimeter, and I estimate that. 
that uh, and this is this one millimeter that this this uh, gap can be so big and and when in that motor there is this mileage something like 100,000 or actually sorry 60,000 miles and this means that that these piston rings I estimate that they can last even that amount and this means that it is like in some uh, 120 to 150 thousand miles and then we should to change those rings but in that way this motor is very okay condition in when we think those piston rings and and we can we can reuse and continue these piston rings use and this was this information and same we can same measurement we can do also this oil ring what is in here okay and this was that information and next we are planning to insert those pistons in those cylinders and it's also very interesting job and in and in that job we continue next video and thank you for watching this information lesson and thank you